Hello people, in this we want to look at uh, acute red eye, the different uh, causes, differential diagnosis. So basically acute red eye, according to the textbook, they have given three uh, things that is uh, acute conjunctivitis. Okay, here you can see <clears throat> first uh, from outside to inside, let's say acute conjunctivitis, conjunctiva affected conjunctival inflammation, iridocyclitis, uveitis, that is anterior uveitis, iris or the pars plicata of the ciliary body is affected. The last one they are seeing here is acute congestive glaucoma. In, that is uh, optic nerve damage, resistance, trocular pressure, etc. So these are all acute red eye, right, according to the textbook. Otherwise, red eye uh, can happen in a lot of other situations also, right? Why are they focusing only on these three? We will come to the differences between these three, but what do you think? Do you think uh, subconjunctival hemorrhage Echimosis also is uh, an acute red eye because of trauma. Sometimes you can get a subconjunctival hemorrhage. What do you think about episcleritis? Episcleritis also has redness, isn't it? Nod diffuse and nodula. And uh, this one again is um, scleritis. Remember, this is scleritis. Right? So you are getting it, right? This is scleritis. And what is there in the table is actually uveitis. So let's go with what the textbook says, acute red eye. So you will have to distinguish between acute conjunctivitis, acute iridocyclitis and acute congestive glaucoma. Let us try to see. So first of all, look at the images. Here you have um, acute conjunctivitis, the first image. So here you have acute conjunctivitis. So here they have shown acute uveitis, anterior uveitis. And what is the last one? Acute congestive glaucoma. This one, acute congestive glaucoma. So there are a lot of causes of red eye, acute red eye with pain, without pain, so many things to learn. Let us mainly look at the difference between these three. Now let us see, acute means what? There will be less in duration. When it comes to sudden onset, this acute congestive glaucoma, right? The intraocular pressure suddenly raises. So here you can see, Acute congestive glaucoma, X, this sudden onset, okay. Uh, conjunctivitis and uh, iridocyclitis, slightly gradual onset. Now, where is pain more? Here again, in acute congestive glaucoma, there is severe pain, okay. Severe pain and the entire, entire trigeminal area is affected, okay. Severe pain, severe in eye and the entire trigeminal area. What is more? Pain is more in acute congestive glaucoma. So, let's mark this. So, all these are more than this. Then, discharge in conjunctivitis, if it is by bacteria, you can have mucopurulent discharge, right? In others, you know, it is watery only. Because these are iridocyclitis and all, it is not infective, right? I, anterior uveitis and all is mostly, what is the cause for it? Idiopathic. So, we have seen already the causes, idiopathic, um, uh, then uh, arthritis, Right, ankylosing spondylitis, HLA associated. So basically here that's not, they are not blaming infection as such. So you will not get such discharge and all that. So where is di discharge there? In um, acute conjunctivitis, you will see discharge. Discharge is there in everything, but mucopurulent discharge is there in uh, acute conjunctivitis. Okay. Then colored halos. Colored halos is present in glaucoma. Acute congestive glaucoma, colored halos is present. So, mark that here, colored halos present in uh, acute congestive glaucoma. Now, let us come to vision. Where are we? Are we able to see where we are? Vision. Now, vision is um, good in conjunctivitis. That is what is important for us. Vision is what? Good in, it is good in acute conjunctivitis. Nowhere else they said they are using the word good. Vision, good in acute conjunctivitis. Conjunctivitis, vision will be perfect. Please remember this, okay? And markedly impaired where? In congestive glaucoma. Markedly impaired in congestive glaucoma. Next. Next, where are we? So next, what are we looking at? Next, let us look at congestion. Superficial, congest superficial conjunctival congestion will be there. And uh, in uh, uveitis, deep ciliary and in congestive glaucoma also deep ciliary congestion, okay. So obviously conjunctiva, superficial conjunctival congestion. Okay, then let us move on to the next one here. 
tenderness. Tenderness, where will it be there? See, in conjunctivitis, no pain at all. So, such good life, huh? Tenderness absent in conjunctivitis and there will be pain in acute iridocyclitis that is anterior uveitis. Pain will be there and in congestive glaucoma, pain. So much more pain in congestive glaucoma. So, here you can remember tenderness absent in conjunctivitis and also pain also you can remember mild discomfort only this person has with um, acute conjunctivitis, right? So, let's mark it here. Mild discomfort only. This person has in conjunctivitis. Remember, mild discomfort, tenderness is absent in acute conjunctivitis. Pupil, let's move on to pupil now, guys. Here we are, pupil. How will the pupil be in um, conjunctivitis? Pupil, no problem. Everything is fine with pupil in conjunctivitis. In iridocyclitis, uh, there is obviously the iris is affected, so pupil is affected, small and irregular. Yes, small and irregular. So, here you have small and irregular. Pupil is affected because in iris is inflamed, right? And you will see all that festooned pupil and all that, right? Remember? So, irregular. Now, coming to congestive glaucoma, large and vertically oval. Large and vertically oval pupil. So, that is a giveaway again for you. Congestive glaucoma, how to differentiate. So, just remember here, why is it irregular? Because of the posterior sinicae, etc. So, festooned pupil. Here it is large and vertically oval in glaucoma. Moving on, where are we now? Media. How is the media? So, here they are saying in conjunctivitis, the media is clear. But in others, it is hazy. Hazy here in uh, uveitis due to keratic precipitates, aqueous flare because of all those aqueous cells and exudates are there. In acute congestive glaucoma, they are saying that it is hazy because of edematous cornea. Cornea is edematous because there is raised intraocular pressure that will create edematous cornea, is it? So, it is hazy. What is hazy? The media. The media is hazy. So, uh, what will we mark here? We will mark media as clear in conjunctivitis. Okay. Moving on. Anterior chamber. How is anterior chamber in acute conjunctivitis? It will be normal. Iris is normal. Intraocular pressure is normal. All these three are normal. What about acute iridocyclitis? Anterior chamber may be deep. Iris will be muddy. See, iris is affected here, right? So, iris is muddy. Then, intraocular pressure is normal. Where will you see intraocular pressure being more? It will be more definitely in glaucoma, right? Intraocular pressure is more. Iris is muddy where? In iridocyclitis. Then, what about anterior chamber in glaucoma? In glaucoma, the anterior chamber is very shallow. Very important this is. The anterior chamber is very shallow in congestive glaucoma. Okay. So, now we will just revise this. Anterior chamber, very shallow in glaucoma. Iris muddy in iridocyclitis. Intraocular pressure raised in glaucoma. Okay. Then, Constitutional symptoms are prostration and vomiting. In congestive glaucoma, there is prostration and vomiting. So, there are other symptoms, prostration and vomiting because of this um, congestive glaucoma. In iridocyclitis, very little con constitutional symptoms. In conjunctivitis, there is nothing like that. Okay. So, in conjunctivitis, what will you now? Let us go one by one and let us summarize. Okay. So, can you say what and all you saw in conjunctivitis? Okay. So, let's revise in conjunctivitis. We saw that mostly in conjunctivitis, mostly everything is normal. Iris is normal. Anterior chamber is normal. Then, intraocular pressure is normal. The media is clear. The pupil is normal. Pain is very less. Um, so, tenderness is absent. His vision is perfectly fine. So, exactly what the problem here? There is discharge, which is mucopurulent. That's the only thing that got a red, isn't it? There is discharge that is mucopurulent. And he has mild discomfort only. Mild discomfort. So, let's not forget this also. Mild discomfort, mucopurulent discharge. And there will be superficial conjunctival congestion. Okay. So, that's also something that we have to note. Superficial conjunctival congestion. So, these are the only three things that are 
uh, red in acute conjunctivitis. Let us look at acute iridocyclitis now. Here almost everything is there but very little. Onset, gradual, pain, moderate, discharge, watery, uh, uh, then uh, uh, vision is slightly impaired, congestion is deep ciliary. Right? Everything is like orange in this. Slightly impaired, moderate pain, right? Then tenderness is there, yes. Congestion is there, which is deep ciliary. Mainly remember this keratic precipitate, precipitates, aqueous flare, all these. So this will come in this haze, right? Me haze in the media, is, uh, you can specifically write here. Anterior chamber, it can be deep. Iris can be muddy. That is a very specific thing here. Intraocular pressure, not affected, usually normal. Constitutional symptoms may be very little. So everything is kind of in between kind of a thing with this iridocyclitis. Look at acute congestive glaucoma now. Here, sudden onset, severe pain, then um, colored halos, right? Vision is markedly impaired. Deep ciliary congestion is there. Then uh, tenderness is there, obviously. Pain is there, so tenderness is also there. Then the pupil is large and vertically oval in glaucoma. He still has hazy media due to edematous cornea. The anterior chamber is very shallow. This is an important point. It is very shallow. Then uh, raised intraocular pressure. These are specific points that you should know for glaucoma. This oval pupil, very shallow anterior chamber, raised intraocular pressure. Marked pain, right? Severe pain, marked tenderness. All these are also very important. Sudden onset. He will also, he can also have constitutional symptoms. So mainly you have to remember what, let's mark that. Anterior chamber being very shallow, raised intraocular pressure, oval pupil, right? Severe pain, severe, severe pain, okay? Severe pain and there can be constitutional symptoms. So these are like very unique to this glaucoma. Otherwise everything is there, little, little. Deep ciliary congestion, etc. Now let us recap with the photo. So patient presents with acute red eye, he is a gradual onset, uh, pain is not much, tenderness is absent and there is discharge from the eye. Mainly uh, the problem here is there is a red, right, congestion, superficial conjunctival redness is there. And what is not there here, raised intraocular pressure, iris has no issue, pupil has no issue, right, and uh, anterior chamber has no issue, uh, everything is fine, everything other than that is fine. There is no uh, constitutional symptoms, so this person could be having acute conjunctivitis. Next, so this is an image where uh, the person has uh, again acute red eye, okay, with keratic precipitates, right, aqueous cells, aqueous flare, haze in the media. So, iris will be how? Iris will be. So the iris, let's draw the iris here. So the iris will be small and irregular because it is because of iritis, it has become small. The pupil has become small and because of posterior synecae, it is irregular. So this is iridocyclitis. Here there will be pain, right? There will be pain. Tenderness also will be there. Deep ciliary congestion, vision, slightly impaired vision. Some watery discharge can be there. Iris is muddy. Okay, another thing that you have to remember this. So that became iridocyclitis. Now coming to glaucoma. This is uh, acute congestive glaucoma. So many types of glaucoma are there. We are talking about acute congestive glaucoma. Here what will be there? Let's see. In acute congestive glaucoma, deep ciliary congestion. The pupil is oval, vertically oval, right? Then what else will you see here? Constitutional symptoms, vomiting, prostration, sudden onset, severe pain, severe pain, sudden onset, watery discharge can be there. Then, uh, intraocular pressure is raised, anterior chamber is very shallow. So, those that will give you a give clue to acute congestive glaucoma. So, this is uh, these are the three things, but like we said, red dye can be subconjunctival hemorrhage, right? Echimosis. Now, this is episcleritis versus scleritis that we have already covered a video on episcleritis versus scleritis. Basically, here when you put 10% phenylephrine, this color will go away in episcleritis because it is superficial. Here, the color will stay. 
right? When you put 10 percent phenylephrine, the color will stay in scleritis. So that is another way of distinguishing episcleritis and scleritis. What are the other causes of red eye? So many causes are there. In this, we have looked at a few causes. So remember, acute conjunctivitis, iridocyclitis, congestive glaucoma, uh, subconjunctival hemorrhage, episcleritis, scleritis, etc., etc. We will have to add a few more later when we find them. Okay. As of now, we will stop here. Bye-bye.